and welcome to my channel. So you might notice lately that I've been doing a lot of reviews and wrap-ups. That's because I've been reading just a ton lately. This spring summertime has really brought out the best my best reading self and I haven't been doing much else and I am so good with that because I have read some really really great books lately and there hasn't been one so far this year that I have hated. So let's go ahead and get started on the last five books that I've read and I read all of these last week. It was just a really good week for me and these are some great books I have been looking forward to. The first book is Four by Veronica Ross, Roth and this is of course Four's Stories from the Divergent series. I've had this book since it came out and I have yet to read it and I'm really glad I did because this really really redeemed the series for me and after Allegiant I just wasn't sure that I was ever going to feel the same way about this series. I'm not sure I'm as in love with it as I was but this story collection really reminded me of why I enjoyed those stories so much and it was really great to find out more about Four who's someone I didn't necessarily think needed supplementary stories but after having read these I'm glad he got them. I gave it a four out of five. The next book I read was Glass Sword by Victoria ABR. I got this first when it came out, but I've been putting it off because I thought it had been too long since I had read Red Queen, and it had been. I got about two or three chapters into this, and I had to go get a little refresher on what happened at some of the parts in Red Queen. Even after that, I found some of this really confusing, but once I got on the airship, which it took about 50 pages to get to. The story really, really got interesting. Mare is trying to save all of these new bloods and is traveling all over the place to do it. It's a really fun adventure. I thought it lived up to Red Queen really, really well, and I gave it a 4 out of 5. I thought it was an amazing sequel. And continuing my theme of reading ridiculously dorky books, I read Off to be the Wizard by Scott Mayer. This was so fun. It's about this guy who finds this computer program, and because he uses it for his own personal gain by creating money, he gets tracked down by the FBI or... CIA something and has to escape into medieval England where he meets other people like him who are passing themselves off as wizards. So it's got time travel, subterfuge, dorkiness, computer programs. It, it was, it was, it was a lot. The story was really clear and the characters were really entertaining. I just don't want people to be put off by the fact that it's all pixelated on the front because that has very little to do with the actual text of the story. It's really, really entertaining. I gave it a four and a half out of five. I was just so engrossed in it the whole time I was reading it. Next, I finally finished Freak Angels. I have been putting this one off because I just did not want the story to end. And let me just tell you that this is my favorite, favorite graphic novel series. I debated for a long time if I liked it more or less than Saga, and I like it more than Saga. Most of that has to do with the fact that it's completed, but some of it has to do with the fact that these are just amazing characters, and this art is beautiful, and the story is so cool. There are these 12 young adults, and they all have this strange ability, and six years ago they inadvertently caused the end of the world, and they're having to deal with the consequences of it in this flooded London. <gasps> I could seriously talk about this graphic novel series all day long because it's so... Uh, 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 read, read it. Okay, good. Now that I've convinced you to, I gave it like a six out of five. I just love it. I need some freak angel swag and everything. To be a freak angel is all I want now. Okay. I think I want to be a freak angel more than I want to be a lumberjane. Oh my goodness, the fandoms are alive and real and in conflict in this house. The last book I read was The Atlantis Gene by A.G. Riddle. I picked this one up maybe two years ago because I felt like I was seeing it everywhere. At every bookstore I was going to, it was like on end caps, specialized with other books that I liked. And I was so disappointed. I mean, it wasn't the worst book ever by any means. It is just not, it's just not my type of story. It is about this medical researcher who is studying autism in children. And if that was kind of the baseline for the story, I would be all over this because that is really interesting to me. But what this book lacked was cohesion. I felt like it had all of these really good elements. There's a little born identity-ness and Da Vinci Code-esque points in this book. I just don't feel like they fit together really well, and that made this a really disappointing book. I didn't hate it, but it is probably my least favorite read of the year so far, and I ended up giving it a 2 out of 5. Okay guys, that's it, the 5 books I read last week. Maybe next week I'll have another 5 books. Who knows? Maybe I'll have something different. We shall see. Anyway, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos every Thursday. Thanks! Like a, like a, like a bullet train.